one of the top 10 most wanted fugitives of the FBI was captured in San Pedro. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, also known as El Gato, was captured in San Pedro, Nuevo León. The drug lord is registered as one of the 10 most wanted fugitives on the FBI list and the U.S. government was offering $1 million to anyone who provided information leading to his arrest. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, also known as El Gato, was arrested tonight by members of the Attorney General Office in Atizapan de Zaragoza. The subject is identified as the leader of the Beltran Leva cartel in the municipality of San Pedro and is registered on the FBI list. Interpol, the Navy, the National Anti-Kidnapping Coordination, and elements of the Nuevo León State Investigation Agency participated in the arrest of Jose Rodolfo. Jose Rodolfo, who is wanted for allegedly ordering his associates to track down and murder a man in South Lake, Texas, has been added to the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitive list. The State Department Translation Organized Crime Reward Program is offering reward of up to $1 million for information leading directly to his arrest. I wonder if anyone's going to get that bounty. Villarreal Hernández holds an active leadership position in the Beltrán Leva Drug Trafficking Organization within the San Pedro Garza Garcia, Nuevo León, Mexico region. He is also believed to be responsible for numerous murders throughout Mexico. The 43-year-old Texas murder victim was shot while sitting in the passenger seat of his vehicle outside an upscale shopping center in a Dallas Fort Worth suburb on May 22, 2013. His wife was standing near the driver's side door when her husband was killed. The Brassian ambush occurred in the afternoon hours when the shopping center was packed by shoppers. According to evidence and testimonies gathered in the trials of those accused of tracking and killing the man, Villarreal Hernandez ordered and financed a multi-year effort to find and surveil the victim and then kill him. Investigators believed the Villarreal Hernandez had a long-standing personal grudge against the victim. Several people involved in the tracking and killing of the victim have already pleaded guilty, been tried and convicted, or are awaiting trial in federal court. The fact that Villarreal Hernandez was willing to send people into the United States to track someone within the United States and then execute that person in a Texas neighborhood, we must set an example that this will not be tolerated, said special agent. Gary Cohen. Cohen has been investigating Villarreal Hernandez with the FBI Dallas field office since the shooting occurred in 2013. El Gato apparent role in drug trafficking into the United States and evidence linking him to more than 10 murders in Mexico have made this case a top priority for the U.S. and Mexican authorities. He's a ruthless guy, says Cohen. The FBI and Mexican authorities fielded the publicity of the 10 most wanted lists and such a large reward will help generate the leads they need to bring El Gato to justice. The FBI considered Jose Rodolfo Villarreal El Gato to be extremely dangerous. However, he is no longer dangerous since he will now be behind bars.